All right, guys, I'm sitting in a beautiful 2014 Nardo Gray Audi RS5 Cabriolet. I'm going to just do a short overview of this car. And um, basically, it's just a used car here at Thompson Maserati and Alfa Romeo. So I'm going to overview the interior, uh, maybe start it up, give it some revs and stuff like that. And, um, of course, provide the information on this vehicle in particular if you guys are interested in purchasing this car. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. First things first, you'll notice this awesome leather wrapped steering wheel. It is a flat bottom steering wheel with the nice big Audi logo right there. Uh, feels great in the hands. Big bolsters up here at a 10 and 2. And here are the paddle shifters that are steering mounted. They are right here on the back of the steering wheel. Um, they are extremely clicky and tactile. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it. They don't click very loud. But they do feel great when you uh, give them a click. Um, you'll notice some awesome styling throughout this interior. It's very, very nicely done. Um, some nice carbon fiber right there on the door sill. The nice RS5 logo uh, debossed right there into the seats. Uh, very awesome seats at that. You have, of course, the RS logo right there on the shifter, which looks really nice. It's a nice little touch to make it differentiate. In fact, even the key has a, an RS logo on it, which is nice. Right here is the shifter. Put it, leave it in park, put it in reverse, and you'll have the backup camera showing up with the sensor. Neutral, drive, move it over to sport, and you can shift using the, uh, of course, the paddles, or you can shift with this. Um, the paddles are really great in this car. Like I said, they're very tactile, they feel great. Um, and this is a dual clutch transmission. This thing shifts like lightning. It is Audi's S Tronic transmission, and uh, I'm really glad this car has it. It shifts like a beast. Right here in the center is, of course, your button to control the top. There's also a button right here to put all the windows down, which is kind of cool. You just tap it once and all the windows on the car roll down. And you just go ahead and pull it right back up. All right, guys, so this right here is your infotainment center. This is the main menu. And the way you control that is actually right down here. You have this uh, little scroll wheel to scroll through different options on the screen. There's four buttons surrounding it, so depending on the screen that you're in, there may be um, you know different options on each corner of the screen. So let's say if the bottom left corner had a settings option, you would just click that button right there, and it would do that. Um, the menu button is like basically the you know takes you back to the main menu. Back takes you to the previous screen. Um, right here are also shortcuts for different options. So you have navigation, the telephone, uh, radio, and media. So scrolling through the different options you'll see on the wheel, you have car, so you can uh, change the different modes that the car is in, you can go back, telephone, of course if we had a telephone connection we could uh, complete telephone calls, uh, different functions like that. Here's your navigation screen which you can see uses uh, Google Earth, um, you have the Google 3G connection down there. Here's the media menu which allows you to uh, play CDs. Radio, so you can choose uh, different stations. And tone allows you to choose the different settings for the Bang & Olufsen sound system. See right here is the climate control center right there. You have the heated seats. You can actually uh, turn this on just by tapping that little fan icon. And there you go. You can uh, change the speed of it. You just click fan and then dial on this up to uh, different speeds. So you can hear it getting really loud, put it back to one, and shut it off. There's actually an off button right over here, you tap that. So you do have AC, automatic temperature, uh, front defroster, of course the on button and the fan speed control. Uh, you can recirculate the air, choose where it is aimed, rear defroster over here, uh, and then again for the passenger controls, uh, their heated seat and their automatic climate control. Here's your gauge cluster right here. You have the nice RS uh, badge right there on the RPM gauge. You have a speed that goes up to 200 miles per hour. And uh, using the steering wheel, you can hit this mode button and it will let you uh, use the telephone if there's one connected. And then you can choose different radio stations. Um, right over here, you have a dial so you can scroll up on that and turn up the volume. And you just scroll that back down and there you go. So just sitting in this car, it's very comfortable. These seats are very nice. Um, they're not too aggressive, but they feel very comfortable uh, for daily driving or just cruising around in. Um, I am six foot three inches tall. I have no problem with legroom whatsoever. My uh, head is not touching the ceiling and I even have a hat on, so 
Uh, definitely a good sign right there for anyone who is very tall. To go ahead and start it up, you have a center start and stop button right there. And that sounds fantastic, wow. Let me just say with the car started up now, the steering is incredibly light and easy. Um, it's very nice to see that um, it's extremely light. So you'll have no problem uh, you know, driving it. It feels like it'd be pretty direct, of course, if we were driving it. So right now the car is in comfort. If I go over here and click dynamic, you can hear the instant change of the exhaust just get louder. Sounds fantastic. Just listening back here, the uh, engine sounds great with the valves open. It has a nice purr at idle, but it's not aggressively loud, so you can just sit comfortably in traffic and be quiet and stealthy. And of course, if you get on it, you really get that loud rev from this engine. Uh, this is the 4.2 liter V8. It's naturally aspirated, and this car revs way up. Just looking at the RPM gauge, you see this car has a very high red line. I believe it's 8250 RPMs, so this thing really revs out. It's, uh, it's an awesome sounding engine. Uh, one of my buddies had one of these and um, he did a launch with me in it. Sounds unbelievable, this engine screams. All right, so as you just heard, this car sounds incredible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior styling of this car and see what uh, distinguishes this car from the standard A5, you know, what features you get with the RS package. Just looking at the exterior, you see it's finished in this incredible Nardo gray. It's a nice flat gray finish. You have the huge RS wheels right there. Very aggressive front fascia. Have the very large grille right there on the front. Looks awesome. The nice RS5 badge right there. Big splitter down here too. Nice aluminum right there around the windshield. Nice touch. I like that a lot. Aluminum back here around the convertible top trim. Right there is the back. A little bit of a diffuser right there. Big exhaust outlets. RS5 badging once again. It's a really, really awesome car. It looks great. As you can see right there on the uh, dashboard, the odometer is reading 11,105 miles. This is a 2014 car and it is for sale right now for $62,000 uh, right here at Thompson Maserati of Doylestown. Alright guys, I think that pretty much sums up this short review of the uh, 2014 RS5 convertible. I highly recommend coming in and test driving it. It seems like it'd be an incredible car to drive. Uh, the dual clutch transmission, the naturally aspirated V8, uh, it sounds incredible as you heard. So come on down to uh, Thompson Maserati and Alfa Romeo and take a look at this thing. Um, it's really an incredible car. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like as it really helps my video get out there and uh, you know share it with your friends if you know they're into Audis or they're looking for a car like this. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for more awesome car videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.